Prabhrajika Divyanand Pranaji explains, How does the mind become aware? What happens to the mind after death? Your mind, you are knowing this. Mind also is in the Atma. Everything is in the Atma. It is consciousness, pure consciousness alone, in which everything is happening. So what exactly is Sukshma Sharir knows? But you know, your Sukshma Sharir, your mind, functions by reflecting the power of the Atman, <coughs> the consciousness of the Atman. That is how it becomes aware. When Sukshma Sharir and Karan Sharir move after death, that is why we say we are carrying consciousness today. That is the reason we are saying it. Consciousness kahi swart ki taro jaane hai. If you have that kind of a concept, it will become a very materialistic something. It's a compound. If it's a compound, how can it be eternal and permanent and unchanging? It's illogical. The actual fact is consciousness is such a thing that is ubiquitous, always remains, in which everything is happening. But to the extent your Sukshma Sharir and Karan Sharir is able to reflect that light of awareness, it becomes aware and it goes according to its resonance and sanskar, it will find another body. Moving a mirror from one place to another. Ah. Yes. What Nine, right. Yes. What about the prana in the Sukshma Sharir in this case? Prana in the? Sukshma Sharir. Sukshma Sharir. Yes. See, when we say pran, Sharir ko chhoke pran chala gaya. All that we are saying is that wavelength of uh, uh, vital energy is no more in that body. That is all we are saying. It is only prana that impels the sukshma sharir to move. So it will continue its motion in the sukshma sharir, in the karan sharir. It will come back into the next body which <coughs> the person will take. It will come back into the next body. Its vitality will be, it won't diminish, it will be maintained. But the next body may not be immediately available. So where will it stay? <laughs> no. <laughs> the is in a closed state. Yes? So a sense of time is not there. So whether you are reborn two years later or ten years later, it doesn't matter to the Sukshma Sharir. Sense of time is only when mind. See how beautiful it is. Mind, where mind is, time is. No mind, no time. So it doesn't matter in hundred years you are traveling somewhere, so don't worry. See, in dreams, uh, deep sleep state. Because mind is shut down, you have no sense of time. You don't know whether you slept two hours or four hours or six hours, only the clock will tell you. So this proves time is in the mind, not out there. Physics is telling you, no? It's out there. Here may get you originally questioned the fundamentals of life. You will come to Vedanta. 